Posh Yorkshire because they've been unfairly dragged into the government's fight against metal thieves. They say new laws will add to their costs, drive away business and destroy years of advances in the safe disposal of vehicles. Our political editor, Len Tingle, reports. Another of the one and a half million cars scrapped every year in England is dragged into a breaker's yard near Leeds. Well over 80% of each vehicle will be recycled and what's left disposed of safely under strict environmental controls. But there's concern that new laws could unwittingly lead to a huge leap in dumped vehicles. The new laws are really aimed at destroying the market for the theft of copper cables, usually from the rail network. Thefts that can often have highly dangerous consequences. Everybody agreed that the law had to be tightened up to weed out these cowboy scrap metal dealers who were buying this illegally acquired copper wire. But from October, the law is widened even further. For the first time ever, car dismantlers like this one here in Leeds are part of the regulations. They now have to identify and record every single person who wants to sell them a car. And what's more, if they buy that car for cash, that becomes illegal. Vehicle dismantlers are not, and I must stress this, not scrap metal dealers. We buy cars. We'll go out to a customer and we'll pay him cash. They will not accept a, a cheque. They need the cash in their hand to either go buy a car or do whatever they want to do it. They want cash. With that cash incentive gone, yards like this fear being bypassed. And that threatens jobs. Leon Parrish's yard, one of over 40 leads alone, is typical. He's worked here 30 years, his son's now taken over, and his grandson is now also on what's an eight-strong team. It'll be sad, very sad, because at the end of the day we won't get the cars in that we need because the won't sell us them by cheque, and the street trader will come along and take them without being depolluted and scrap them. The Home Office insists that as part of every vehicle eventually becomes scrap metal, then the yards are buying scrap metal, and the new anti-theft regulations will apply. Everybody agrees that these cable thefts must be stopped, but the concern is that by dragging in vehicle dismantlers into the new regulations, it's possible that they might be throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Lentingle, BBC Look North, Leeds. Coming up before...